Hello guys, girls and non-binary pals. Today I wanted to talk to you about portfolios. More specifically, about portfolios that could help you gain jobs in children's book illustration. So, without further ado, here's few things you should include in your portfolio. First off, you should always try to include only 10 to 20 best pieces, which should range from full page spot illustration to covers and character illustrations. And you should update your portfolio every few months with something new, especially when looking for clients. You should also get rid of all the older work that you may that may stand out. Yes, you may be emotionally connected to that one piece, but trust me, if it looks weak, it should go. You can still keep it on your social media. But Portfolio is a place where busy art directors and agents look, so they will notice weaker work and may wonder if you are inconsistent or inexperienced. And we don't want that, do we? And Second thing is to make sure that your portfolio is filled with variety of different pieces. So, like I've mentioned earlier, this should be full page and spread illustrations, cover art, vignettes, which also are called spot illustrations. And by that I mean those little pieces of art that go without much background, like a drawing of an object or a single character. It's also good to have few black and white pieces, which is something I actually need to add to my own portfolio. These are especially useful when you are trying to get jobs to illustrate a chapter box. These usually are aimed for a bit older audience and usually have black and white illustrations between the chapters. You also need to show diversity in your work different genres. You should have some fantasy, some fairy tale and some modern setting illustrations. Different types of characters. Remember, you are trying to get job in children books illustration, so your pieces should include kids. Lots of kids and kids and again kids, but also teenagers, adults and elderly members of families. And they should come from different backgrounds have different nationalities, ethnicities, because as artists we like to make everything colorful, don't we? And also don't be afraid to experiment. And remember about all those characters that may not be so lucky and might have broken hands or legs or be on a wheelchair. Just be creative and include everyone. And remember about the different body sizes too. Tall, short, skinny, chubby and everything in between these two. Just have fun. Another important thing is to remember that each piece should tell the story. Characters should be interacting with each other or with their environment, not just static and show some emotions, happiness, sadness, anger. And characters should be in different settings. House, school, forest, park, beach, snowy mountain, during the day or night. Possibilities are endless. One more thing you should include are animals. Children books are often filled with animals and your portfolio need to show them. Dogs, cats, guinea pigs, cows dressed as wicked witches. And yes, I actually had to draw that, which was fun. Once you master your animal companions of modern era, try adding some dinosaurs, unicorns, mermaids and monsters. And try drawing some anthropomorphic animals too, which is another thing I need to add to my own portfolio. And if you are struggling with ideas of what to draw, try 
with growing popular fairy tales. What's your take on Red Riding Hood or Cinderella story? You can also take part in challenges such as Childhood Week or Folks Week, Week or maybe a monthly challenge such as Mermaid to get some ideas and quality work. And most importantly, have fun. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.